All right, Shalom. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We're going to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and honors to all you brothers that are also laboring, enduring to the end. All right, the name of this lesson is No Pain, No Gain, Tribulations to the King. And that's self explanatory. You know, they got that saying in the world no pain, no gain, especially in fitness, sports, meaning you're going to have to go through pain and, and tribulations in order to get what you want. And what is it that we want? We want the kingdom, which the kingdom is being manifested right now. Spiritually, we want the physical manifestation, meaning we want this place to be destroyed. Okay, we want all these, uh, these heathen nations under our foot, and we want to be ruled over by Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. We get a perfect heart. And so that way we'll never go off and we'll continually be in rulership, man. And that's the gospel. Okay, people talking about, oh, I believe in the gospel. This is the gospel, man. All right, the, the, the America being destroyed, okay, the, the so-called white man being destroyed, the nation of Israel ruling, all of our people being righteous. Yet to get, uh, until we get to that point, we're going to have to suffer tribulation. All right, can you uh, start with Acts the 14 chapter? This Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples. Yeah, confirming the souls of the disciples. And that's what, excuse me, that's what these videos are for, is to confirm the souls of the disciples, because we're all disciples of, of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So confirm means what? With firmness, meaning to, to strengthen your resolve in this. And because we're, we're surrounded by nothing but wickedness and spirits. So you got to continually meditate on his word to keep you going. As it is written, it is a spirit that quickens you. That's for quicken if you in a in a dead world. Okay, go ahead, bro. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. There you go. Con exhorting them to continue in the faith. Yeah, so encouraging brothers, hey, you gotta keep going. You gotta continue in the faith, keep doing the work. Because yeah, as soon as you don't, what happens? The spirit of the world will overtake you, man. And then and then you're done. Go ahead. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. We must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, man. So it's not going to be no no uh, walk in the park, no no easy thing. Yet yeah, it's written, it's written, so that way you know what to expect. Matter of fact, get me um, First Thessalonians, the. Uh, Yep, First Thessalonians. I'm gonna give you the chapter and verse two and no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three. First Thessalonians three and three. Okay. <clears throat> it's the book of. Um... First Thessalonians three and three. Says that no man that no man should be moved by these afflictions. Yeah, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. So when you're going through, you know, affliction, tribulation, you're not supposed to be moved by that. Go ahead. It says for yourselves know that we are appointed, that we are appointed thereunto. Yeah, you know that we are appointed thereunto, meaning we're appointed unto what? Afflictions. We just read in Acts the 14th chapter, through much tribulation we must enter into the kingdom. Okay, so you're appointed just like our Lord was appointed into it. It said he's what a man appointed, with, uh, acquainted with grief. That was that was what he was set up. That was the prophecy that he was going to come on the scene. That he was going to get persecuted. He was going to crucified, uh, and then he was going to get resurrected. Okay, so you know we we got to go through the steps. The servant the servant is not greater than his master. So just as he caught hell, and he was appointed there unto, we're we're appointed to uh, catch hell. Go ahead, bro. I had a quick precept. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, First Peter 4 and 1 mm. says, For as much then as the Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves like, likewise with the same mind. Yeah, arm yourself likewise with that same mind. So you have to have the mind to suffer. All right, go ahead. It says, For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Yeah, because that all that suffering purifies you from the, the pleasures of this world. Go ahead. Yeah, verse 2 says that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the Most High. Yeah, 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 but to the will of the Most High. That's why you see brothers that are really into this always putting up work, always edifying, always sending out articles. Why? Because of all the suffering that you catch in this world, you you like, man, fuck this world. I don't, I don't want to be. 
I want to be around. It could be any little thing. You go out to, you go out to get a, a drink, man. A cop cop will pull you over. Okay, you see some damn some damn trannies in there. Like you be like, God damn, uh, I'm 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 just gonna go home and read. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I just wanna go home and read. I, I wanna do a video. I'm gonna just see what's up with bros. You know, because you you suffer so much in this world, it 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 further has you hated to the point where you can think about nothing else but this place being destroyed and you getting up out of here, man. And then you gotta fight those demons of thinking about the world, which is why you think about what? The kingdom and all things that lead up to it, which is what? The tribulation, even more suffering. So you gonna say something, brother? Oh no, I had a uh please said. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This is Psalms 34 and 17. Mm. The righteous cry and the Lord hears. Oh, ooh, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth. And we cry out continually, which is why there's so much stuff going on. This devil's being exposed, these prophecies are speeding up. Because there's more righteous men that have uh, awoken to the truth and they're crying out. They, the scriptures say that the souls of the uh, the souls of the righteous can take the plan continually, and that's why we're always uh, pretending Isaiah 62nd chapter. That's why we're always um, getting at the most high to, to come and um, and destroy this place, man. So we make we're 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 we're, we're begging him, annoying him to come and make Jerusalem a, a praise on the earth because that's not seen right now, man. Go ahead, brother. And deliver them out of all their troubles. And deliver them out of all their troubles, because the Lord can deliver you from anything. But you just have to have faith that He will. And He's been He's been delivering us and all the, you know all the sincere brothers, which is why we're here today. Because look, we're we're brothers who were uh, with late twenties, early thirties. And it's it's a it's a damn miracle that we're that we're alive. They're not out on the streets. They're not sipping lean, smoking blunts. Because the Lord the Lord continually uh, delivers us out of the situation so that. We don't, when things happen, we don't um, uh, partake in the flesh. Because that's what happens with our people in the world. Okay, because I've known dudes and they start up. Man, I saw a, a dude I used to be cool with, man. He was out the first one, totally bugged out, man. He came by the camp, he's looking at me and I saw him. I was like, oh shit, what's up? He's totally done, man. See, but the Lord the Lord has uh, has, has righteous, has, um, has delivered us. Because Lord will with, with, with the righteous. Hey, um, you got some more on that? Yeah. Come on. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and say that such as be of a contrite spirit. Yeah, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And you get that through what? Suffering. You get you get broken down and to the point where you just, hey, I need you. So the Lord, the Lord will bring you to a point where all you can do is just cry out to him, man. And the Lord, the Lord likes that, man. He likes you being uh, dependent upon him. Hey, because people like to say, why don't you get a job? Hey, we, we got our jobs, man. We're on our watch. And the only reason that we have uh, a means to make these worthless, worthless FRNs is because we're serving the Heavenly Father and His Son. Brother? Come on. Come on. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, yep. but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. Many. Yeah, so you go through hell continually, constantly. All right, as soon as you, you're done dealing with one situation, then another arises. And Satan continually is in your mind trying to trying to find that one thing that's going to offend you. And if you're the if you're the elect, not, you'll you'll never be offended, man. You got some more, Rocky? Mm, that's it. Okay, yeah, I got a um, I got a precept. So let me let me find it. I'm right around here. Uh, yeah, this is Psalms 119 chapter. And uh, man, this is this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite, but uh, where should I start? Uh, just... you, you go ahead, or you got a precept? Oh, yeah, I got, I'm still holding that uh, first Thessalonians. Yeah, uh, yeah, go back to that and I'll, I'll, I'll find where I should start. Yeah, uh, first, first Thessalonians 3 and 3 again. It says, uh, that no man should be moved by these afflictions for yourselves, know that we are appointed thereunto. Go ahead. Verse four, for verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. Yeah, so the same with our apostles and elders. They told us, hey, you're going to catch hell. Your woman's going to leave you. Everybody's going to call you crazy. Okay, Satan's going to be in your mind. You know? Hey, hey so that, read that again, Art. Yeah, verse four says, for verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass and you know right and you know even as it even as it came to pass 
Go ahead. Verse 5 says, For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. Right, the tempter is who? Satan. Yeah, so that's why there's continually epistles and exhortations. Because then if you if you fall out, it's like, man, the, the work is in vain. Which even if the work is in vain, you know, that, that's not going to take away our prize. Matter of fact, can you give me um, 1 Corinthians, the third chapter? Yeah, a precept? Yeah, fine. Oh, come on, bring it out. Bring out the precept. It's 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. Beautiful, beautiful. Go ahead. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, Work it up for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Right. So for our what affliction? Uh, is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17 for our light affliction. Yeah, this is a light affliction. You know, even though, because though, you're in because you're going through it, it feels heavy. But ultimately, it's a light affliction, man. Especially considering what our people are going through in, in, in hardcore slavery. Okay, we, we could have been uh, trapped in Ethiopia somewhere, man. And we could be in the Middle East right now, ducking from damn bombs. You know, it's, it's a light affliction. Yeah, even the Lord said, uh, my, my burden is light. See? But, you know, we're in this flesh, so you get caught up in stuff and you get annoyed. But really, it's a light affliction. Keep going, brother. Which is, but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Go ahead. While we look not at the things which are seen. Yeah, while we look not at the things which are seen, which what do you what do you see around you? Pure 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 wickedness, man. Darkness. Darkness. Yeah, it's not, it's darkness, man. You don't see no there's no light out here. There's no light out here. That's how you know, man. We're 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 about to enter into the day of the Lord, man. There's all types of signs. People yeah, I went to the store. Everybody's just done. Everybody been threw in a towel, man. Everybody mad, everybody's Screw facing each other. There's no, you know, there's no uh, neighborly spirit. You know, God. even amongst these other nations, They're, this this place is this place is totally done, man. And this is this is just like the last what, two three years. You can you can see the difference. Yeah, you know, it's like 2014, I think. Yeah, yeah, 2014. It was different. Now it's like everybody's everybody's saying, oh, I'm just in a rat race. Everybody's catching hell because the the cost of living out here is just ridiculous. It's astronomical, man. So people got to scrape up. Like we were talking about, people got to get a, a, a Uber job. Here it is. You got two jobs, and then you got to take a you got an Uber lift in addition to that, man. Fine. You living just to make the rent, and then go to sleep, and then do the same thing over and over again, man. And then you catching hell with the uh, customer that you got to drive around. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. They 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 parking the orders at you. You know, no, I got to go here. I got to go there. <laughs> hey, you know. Oh, here you'll see a 2017 Range Rover with an Uber sign in it, man. <laughs> yep. You know, you might have a hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah. Still Uber in it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Cause they gotta afford that car. You know, they, they'll try to pay their note with that. Just, just to flex. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but that's what's out here, man. So that's why, you know, even though, even though you go through afflictions, you want to think about okay, what's what's the meaning of it. Why is the Heavenly Father doing this? And ultimately, think about the kingdom as the next verse explains. Go ahead. It's 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Right, but the things which are not seen, which is what? The, the kingdom of heaven, like physically manifested, meaning Jake's rulership. Because we're, we're coming together right now, but we're still under Esau's, uh, Esau's domain. We're in Esau's world, even though we're at the end of it. So you don't want to you don't want to fixate your mind on this because you just really you just bug out, man. You know, thinking about you have to be super conscious about everything. Yeah, what am I eating? Where's this been? Oh, oh man, don't even get me started on a woman. Oh, what has she done? You know, the people the people that you work with. You know what's going on around because you know that it's nothing but wickedness around here, man. So that'll that'll drive you crazy. You know, and all, and also the fact that you can't even be as righteous as you want to be. You know, we can't keep the laws perfectly. We can't execute judgment. You gotta bear. You have to bear a lot, man. So that in itself will weigh you down. All right, the shortcomings that you have. Why? Because that's that's us being in this in this domain in this man's world. Go ahead. And I was. No, go go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go finish it off. For the things which are seen are temporal. Yep. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Yeah, so no pain, no gain, man. This is a temp this is temporary. 
just like that practice or you know brothers who play football you had two a days okay you it was like damn it's painful but look what happened that was temporary man all of that is temporary that the worst the worst pain that you felt in in your life that was all temporary man but this this kingdom is going to be eternal and I was meditating on that scripture. That's, that's why I, I kind of laughed when you said it, because I was meditating on that scripture. I went outside and I was just meditating on the kingdom. I was like, man, the kingdom's gonna be, the kingdom's gonna be lit. The kingdom's gonna be popping, you know? And when you think about that, the hell isn't that bad, you know, because you remove your spirit more from here. And that's what that's the goal of all this, all this distraction, all this bullshit out here is to have your spirit here, you know. That's when and that's when the afflictions really, really uh, mess with you, man. But if you put your mind in a, in a better place in the kingdom, which we know the better place is, the better place for these people is, oh man, get a mansion. You know, they 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 check they because their better place is something still here. Mm -hmm. Our better place is what the kingdom, you know, and we know that it's actually going to happen. So these people, they'll they'll they like, man, if I get a bad bitch, I'll be cool. All right, if I get a, a get a, a new house, I'll be cool. A new whip, and then they get it. That's why these rich dudes they bug out because they they want all that. They sell their soul and then they get it and then they're worse off. Right. You know, because they put their mind somewhere else, a better place. Our better place is according to the scriptures, man, which is the kingdom. I got something. I know you have something. You have something? Yeah, that's something too, brother. Yeah. Um, back on the afflictions. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 65. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Yahweh, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge. For I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. It said, before I, uh, before I was afflicted, I went, I went astray. See? But now have I kept thy word. All right? Because, you, you know, back in your own, um, you look back, you know, when you was in the world, or uh, even though you know the Most High, he, he delivered you out of many things, even then, you know, he kept you to, hey, to do this right here, you know? But, but what? You was, uh, you, you was basically, you know, a, a demon, you know? You was going astray. You didn't, you didn't know the Lord. You was ignorant to this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right? But once you know you, you come into this truth, you put that you put that old man off. All right? Hey, you uh, you serve the high by seeing your house side. And, and with that, hey, it comes temptation. Come, it comes chastisement, you know, which is um, which is love. And I'm actually holding that uh, in Hebrews, the 12th chapter. But if you got more, right, Now that, bring it out, and I'll, I'll jump back. Okay. Yep. It's Hebrews 12 and um, 5. It says, and ye have forgotten the exhortation, exhortation was speaking unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Yeah, despise not the chastening of the Lord. And a lot of people, that's what they do. A lot of our brothers, or what we thought were brothers that come into this, they despise the chastening of the Lord. Okay? All right, you lose your, you know, my car might break down a lot. Um, false brethren might not come along uh, amongst you because that's the thing too you know because of false brethren should say the love of many shall wax cold and that's what happens all right because of iniquity um uh, your woman leave you you lose your job okay all these people that you you felt uncomfortable comfort with before that's no longer comfortable that's the chastening you feel alone a lot of the time that's the chastening of the lord you got to continually you have to continually battle Hey, because in this in this truth, we have to continually battle, consistently. There's always a uh, there's always a thought, there's always an image that you've seen that that's in your head that you have to combat. You have to cast, hey, you have to break casting down imaginations, man. <laughs> you really that's that's a real scripture because this world is so wicked. You think about what you've seen, and you know, man, it's wicked, man, it's wicked. This is fucking wicked. Then you then you mad, but then you be, might be at work, you might be around people. You don't want to look like a crazy person, you know. <laughs> You know, actually, you just got to play it cool. Man. But that's hard, man. But you know what? It's a light affliction. Okay? And that's it's the chastening of the Lord, man. Go ahead. Verse 6 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Woo. Hey, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And you see, the majority of the, the earth, they're not getting chastened. Right. They, you know? They, 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 they're they living it up. Or they think they're living it up. Because they're not they're not getting hit with judgments and then it getting put in their mind. Okay, this is why this happened. They just think it's by chance, you know. Oh, I don't know. I just I gotta bounce back. That's how people take take adversity, man. But we we understand that. Okay, hey, the Lord is trying to show me something. All right, what is what is the Lord trying to show me? And He's doing that because He loves you. Just hey, as a as a father discipline of His son, it's the same way, man. 
I was gonna say, cause that when I was a, uh, you know, in Christianity, that's how that's how I looked at it. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bounce back. You know what I mean? And, that, and as you know, that, that Christianity, what do they think, man? They think, hey, knowing the Lord, you know what I mean, is uh getting, you know what I mean, uh things of this world. All right, you know, uh, a, a new house or you know a, a car or, or whatever their um, you know their their, their wicked heart desires. All right, but like Apostle Gabar said, and once you come into this truth, man, you know, basically to, to sum it up, what is it? Hey, you're going to suffer. You know, you're going to suffer, man. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, right. and, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Yeah, and he scourges every son that he receiveth. You know, and, that, and there's no exception, no exception to that from the uh, least of us to the greatest. Yeah, really, it, you're not supposed to, uh, brothers are asking, you're not supposed to light a fire. On, on the Shabbat, you know, your brother's got some incense, so yeah, you, you're not supposed to. Good. It says, uh, if you endure chastening, the most I deal it with you as with sons. Yeah, if you endure, which means to what? To make hard. And the more and more you're in this thing, you have a real cold spirit, you know, to anybody outside of the truth. You just don't even blink at stuff. You're like, oh, no, that's Satan. Oh, that's the Lord doing this, you know? You just laugh and you just do it moving. You know, go ahead. Yeah, it says, if you endure chastening, the most I deal it with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Yeah, because if nobody's telling you, if, if you're not getting chastised, go well, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go on and explain. Yeah, verse eight. But if he be without chastisement, where of all are partakers? Yeah, the world. Go ahead. Then it says, but if he be without chastisement, where of all are partakers? Then. Are you bastards and not sons? Then are you bastards and not sons? That means you're a bastard. Yep. Yeah, because nobody's trying to lead you on that right path. They see you out there, you say, oh, well, that's that ain't my response. Pretty much that's not my responsibility. That's what you see in the hood all the damn time, man. See a bunch of damn rugrats, and nobody says anything. Why? Because that's not their son. Right. Oh, it ain't me. You know, they don't, they don't think, okay, well, I, I got to do this because it's not their responsibility. So you people, you're not the Lord's. The Lord's not checking for you, man. The Lord don't care about you. That, that's what comes with that neo uh, Christianity. You know what I mean? Yep. That you, you can't judge. You know what I mean? You can't uh. Basically, you can't show love, which is rebuke. That comes with uh, neo Christianity, man. Yeah. Hey, cause hey, say you about to. I always hard come back to the Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle show. He said every nigga is a certified paralegal. Like if a young nigga's about to do something, the old nigga's gonna pop out and say, "Hey, nah, nigga, don't do that. That's five to ten. Yeah. Hey, hey, because he's like, look, man, you go against the law, you already know what's going to happen. That's what happens with us. If a brother's doing something, you go, oh, no, nah, brother, you don't want to do that. And it's not and it's not for us to just, like, pull rank over them or, or be boisterous. It's because we know the terror of the Lord. Right. So, they like, look, hey, the Lord will jack you up. Okay, so, hey, before you get jacked up directly by the Lord, hey, a brother, you know, will rebuke you, which that's coming directly from the Lord as well. But after that, you might just get some... Direct chastisement, direct judgment, man. Right, right. Because you didn't take the the lower level, so to speak, of, of that chastisement, which was getting cursed out by a brother or getting admonished by a brother. That's all chastisement, man. Hey, because this world, like like the brother said, that neo Christianity, it it, it it there's no accountability, man. That's why sluts in there, sodomites, mm -hmm. just just people eating pork, just people who are unhealthy. You know, the people that are they're on their deathbeds going out there, acidic three hundred pounds. Because nobody told them nothing. Well, you know, they'll but they'll talk about them behind their back, man. Yep. That's not love. Because they understand that there's a problem with that person, but they're not gonna say nothing, man. Why? Because the the a Lord chastisement isn't isn't um falling upon them. Why? Because they're not sons. And you women, you're just not even exempt. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be you're you're really out of the picture. It's supposed to be for the men, and then you uh and then you expound. And you lay down an order within your household to the women and children. Right. See? Okay, you got something? Come. All right. Is a Job 5 and 17. Beautiful. Behold, happy is the man whom the most high corrected. All right, happy, oh, happy is the man whom the most high corrected. Then you do you do get happy because if you're if you're a wise man, you really want perfection. You want perfection, you want peace. That's what a real man wants. A real man wants perfection and he wants peace. Even at your job, right? Don't you want? Don't you want to be perfect at your job? Come on. You want to be. You want to be. Even though, especially if you're by working on your own, you want to. You that's in Jake's spirit to perfect Jake Craft, man. Right. 
You know, you want to, and it ain't, it ain't for nobody else. It's just for you. You want to know, okay, I, I got to do this. You know, so when you get corrected on something, say like, say, say I'm doing a squat and I'm going too far forward. I'm, I might mess something up. So I said, oh, no, you're not supposed to do it. I'm going to be happy. I'm, oh, wait, thank you, man. I, I didn't know. Okay. Why? Because if not, what happens? You're going to get a, a, a correction. Your back, your back going to be all messed up. You're going to be looking stupid in the gym. See? So happy is the man whom the most high corrected. And Heavenly Father, he does that to us on a, on a wide scale. Okay? You might have, in your mind, you might have a, a, you might have a way that you think the scripture is supposed to be break, broke down. And then a video might come up. You're like, oh, okay. That's what it is. You're happy. You're not mad. You're not, now, if you're in the right street, you ain't going to be like, who's this name? Yeah. No, no. That's, that's how you're supposed to do the breakdown. You gonna and you gonna um, be happy because you know what I mean. You didn't you didn't put that out to the flock, man. You know. Yeah. You didn't put that that um that wrong breakdown out. That eleven. Yeah. See, so you'd be happy. Yeah, if you are, or if you got some, or if you eat something, if hey, but that got pork in you. Oh shit! You'd be happy. Hey, the, the water. Huh? Oh, the scriptures tell you that in Proverbs. Is that Proverbs the ninth chapter? Matter of fact, get it real quick. Proverbs nine and um, I think nine. I got a little more. Yeah, yeah. Just hold, hold that. Okay, better hold that. Okay, we're gonna jump here. Okay, we're gonna jump back. But... <laughs> Go ahead. Proverbs nine and nine it says, "Give instruction to a wise man." I'm sorry. Start at eight. Okay. Proverbs nine and eight. Yep. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. See, rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Oh, hey, the water, bro. I ain't even, I ain't even know. You know, this brother's done that with me. These brothers, I've done that with brothers. Oh, hey, she's called the water, bro. Oh, oh for real? Damn, okay. Because a, a wise man wants understanding and wants a more perfect understanding. That was good. That was, that was really the point. Okay, you can jump back to that okay, unless you had a preset. Oh, no, I was, I was trying Okay, to okay. This is a Job 5 and 17. Behold, happy is a man whom the Most High corrected. Therefore, despise not the chastening, chasti chastening of the Almighty. Right. Don't despise the chastening of the Almighty, the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He wounded and his hands make whole. Yeah. Yeah. He woundeth and, he, and his hands make a whole. Go ahead. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah. And seven there shall be shall no evil touch thee read that one more time this is job 5 is 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles he shall deliver thee in six troubles go ahead yeah in seven there shall no evil touch thee yeah we're between the sixth and seventh okay yeah in seven so no shall no evil trust thee which is ultimately what the destruction of this place you got some more oh um, in famine he shall redeem thee from death Right, in famine he shall redeem thee from death. Yeah, hey, and um, they're talking about this this EMP that's supposed to go off in a couple of days oh, on Saturday, actually, from four through six. Oh. And they're saying, well, look, you know, you're not going to be able to light uh, light anything, no electricity. You know, stack up on food. And da -da 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 -da. So say that does happen, right? In famine, the Lord will deliver us. You know, we're not we're not worried about that. Getting canned goods. So that's actually against the scriptures. Our right, pre prepping. Right. Okay, that's a that's a lack of faith. Hey, because a hey, Lord could rain manna, or uh, what was that? Pretty much chicken. What was it? We we eating in the wilderness. Quail. Quails, quails, yep. Stuff that they put in KFC, man. All right, go ahead. And in war from the power of the sword. Go ahead. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Go ahead. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Yep, man, destruction is coming, but we're not afraid, you know. I mean, we, hey, we, we, you hear this, you, you tremble at the word. Yet ultimately, hey, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. So, hey, hey Lord's will, we'll, we'll be okay. And, and we know, hey, if it's our lot not to make on chariot, as long as we endure until the end, then we'll be on, we'll be the, we'll be on a chariot when the elect are, uh, when the elect are, um, the, uh, the rest of the elect are, are, um, are delivered. You know? Go ahead. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Ooh, see, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. And we're doing that right now. We're really going to do it once it once it picks up. Yeah, a brother, um, a brother's cousin got shot in the face last night, man. He wasn't tripping. Oh my god, he's laughing. His brother was laughing. He's like, good for that. Good for his ass. He's wicked. You know. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, what happened uh, over there in um in Napa? We was laughing. Yep. Um, yeah, we was good, man. Oh man, we hitting each other up, drinking wine. That was some of the best news I got in weeks. Oh, it was great. It was it was a heartfelt story, like the brother guy said. You no, know? <laughs> he was oh man, it's so so horrible. It was heartfelt to us. Yep. <laughs> hey, and, and and yeah, and a lot more people are gonna die. Okay. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Yeah, talking about these these animals that are going to break out of these zoos, man, because they're going to they're going to break out and they're going to wreak havoc on the Edomites, man, because they're going to know, okay, well, this because the animals they're they're spiritual, man. They're going to know this is a wicked spirit. They're going to run your ass over. The Lord's going to put it in them. Get them, get them. They scripture says be spirits that are created for vengeance. <clears throat> See. But we're gonna be at but we're gonna be at peace with them. Just like uh, just like when you go back to the time of uh, of Adam. Okay, the, the, the dread of the animal the, 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 the fear, the dread of the animals, the dread of man, I should say, was upon them animals. We're gonna go back to that time. And I've had experiences like that, just deers and different animals. And I just kinda like stopped. This is when I was in the world, you know, but I was never into like doing a wicked shit to animals, you know. And I always, you know, I was bleeding the most side. But yeah, they just kinda looked. And it just ran off, man. And everybody else was bug out. Oh, Esau get a gun, try to shoot him and shit like that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I had a testimony. It just something just happened to me yesterday. I was uh in the job that I do. I had went up to a uh, to a house. You know, and out of nowhere it was just, uh I heard the pit bull out of nowhere. I heard it and it was already on my leg. You know what I mean? It just gave me a little head, but and all and it just so happened the vice president of the company was with me, Edomite. You no, know, he he bugged out and ran off, but the pit bull came up and just you know knocked me on the leg. And it went back to his yard. But later on that day, uh, a guy that worked with me said that uh, the same dog bit a man, beat the mailman in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, that's beautiful. See, that's the spirit, man. I'll read that again about the beast of the field. This is a uh, Job five and twenty three. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. This brother, see, the beasts of the field were at peace with the brother. Yeah, I had another time. Yeah, it was, it was a, uh, a row. It just it started going across and it just stopped. It, it, and then, oh man, there's time I was going up to Portland. A deer just ran right across and I saw it. I actually saw the deer like running across. If I would have slowed up like a second or two more, I would have hit it. See? So it's all spiritual, man. You know? It was with the brother Shamar. You know, you know, dogs come up to us, they're all good. Yeah. Some that got real wicked uh, owners, though, they might bark at you. Yep. You know? Because yep. he saw them. You know? Yeah. You know? Programming. Sorry. Programming. Yeah. Yeah, but these animals, yeah, these animals, they gravitate to Jake, man. Yeah, you guys gonna say something? I was gonna say, even like sometimes at camp, you know, uh, oh, yeah. boy, you know, might, might walk by with a dog, you know what I mean? And you might, might scarf a son the dog, man, I want no parts of that. Yeah, you know? that's true. <laughs> that's true. The dog will start cursing out the owner. Yeah. <laughs> you, you seen that? Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then he's like, oh, what the hell? Then they got to get up the street. See? Because <laughs> yeah, the animals are in order. That's why when they uh, that's why when they, they, they pass on, their spirit goes down to the earth. Because they don't their spirits don't need to go back up to get judged. You know, because they're already in perfect, perfect order. Right, right. You know? You got some more? Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, let me uh yeah, precept. Uh, I was on Sorek too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I uh let me, let me go back to this though. In uh, Psalms one nineteen. You want me to read it on? Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and read it. The water. Uh, Psalms one nineteen and um, start at sixty five. Okay. This is one of my uh it's one of my favorite scriptures. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of damn the, the, demons. Yeah, yeah, you see it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn. And brothers, don't uh yeah, don't even engage in this. Don't even engage in this is just Satan, man. Yeah, let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh Block him. Yep. Esau, you're a loser, man. <laughs> True. Yeah, ain't you got ain't you got some damn some damn cup party to go to, man? You know? Damn devil. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, bro. This is Psalms 119 and 65. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Yahweh, according to thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Go ahead. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. Go ahead. 
The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precept with my whole heart. Right, read that one more time. Huh? It says, uh, verse 69. The proud have forged a lie against me. Right, the proud have forged a lie against me. Right, talking about you Edomites, man, the accuser of the brethren. Go ahead. But I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. But I will keep the precepts with our whole heart. Go ahead. Verse 7 says, their heart. Right, and what's the main commandment right now? To do this work. That's right. Okay, when you go to Matthew 28 chapter, that's what our Lord commanded. All right, I'll go and preach this word, this word in all nations. Why? Because it's Israelites in all nations. Good. That's the that's that's the commandment. Go ahead. Verse seven. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. Go ahead. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. That, right. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Go ahead. That I might learn thy statutes. That I might learn thy statutes. There you go, man. That's how you learn. Like you know, we read in First Peter the second chapter. I mean, the fourth chapter. Go ahead. Verse 72 says, the law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Read that one more time. It says, the law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. But yeah, the law is better than thousands of gold and silver. Hey, because uh, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Okay, go ahead. Verse 73 says, thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that, I'm, that I may learn thy commandments. Go ahead. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. Right. They will read that one more time. It says they that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. Yeah, the brotherhood, man. Go ahead. Verse seventy-five. Verse seventy-five. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right. Right. I know that thy judgments are right. Go ahead. And that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Okay, so all the all the trials and tribulations we go through, it's in faithfulness, man. Yes. <clears throat> Verse 76 says, Let I pray thee thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. That was good. That's okay. good, brother. Damn, there's a, a multitude of demons on here with that. God damn. Yeah, cut cockroaches, like the brother said. <laughs> cockroaches. Yeah, he saw one. He saw one race wars. He saw one race wars, man. Right. He saw you're a cuck, man. Oh, you might you nothing know, but a bunch of cucks. You already lost. Yeah, Satan is Satan is heavy, man. Hey, but guess what? The spirit of Yah Bashim Al Shai is heavier, man. That's right. Yeah, he's talking about white people wrote the book. Yeah, right, man. This is this book was uh was written by by holy men Israelites okay and they had the spirit of Yahweh Shai on them, all right. All right, hey, brother's got something. Yep, Sirach, Sirach chapter two. I'm gonna start from the top. Go ahead. It says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation." Yeah, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, so you're gonna be tempted. You're always gonna be tempted with wickedness, man. Yep. And it's to do what? To try you. Hey, see, that's what uh matter of fact. Because that's what uh, that's what our Lord did in the wilderness. He tried our people, and the majority of them they failed. Well, all of them, except for um, Joshua and Caleb. Yeah. Same thing. Matter of fact, let me. Uh, hey, brother, can you get Baruch the uh, sixth chapter? Uh, Barak, uh, Baruch. I'm sorry. Six and. Start at four. Is Baruch six and four. Now shall ye see in Babylon gods of silver and of gold and of wood, born upon shoulders, which causes the nations to fear. Which causes the nations to fear. See, everybody fears America or all these idols. Everybody's infatuated. And it, it's hardcore, too. We don't even think about how hard, hardcore this witchcraft is. Like the brother, uh, I believe he's on the comic board he put up. On the um on that 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 Bible TV series, they had they had Satan as a dark skinned man, and the, and the Lord was a damn Edomite looking like Cesar Borgia. Okay, you watch a commercial. It's an Edomite. You got the suit. Then you got all the women coming up. You know, it's like a, a um like a men's warehouse. This is like nothing but idolatry, man. Okay, you watch a movie. Comes on. They got the uh the Statue of Liberty, pretty much Columbia Pictures. Was that something with the Statue of Liberty, the Queen of Heaven? Okay, you got all these damn churches. It's nothing but idolatry out here. 
and it causes and it causes people to fear. People are actually seduced by that. These nations. Go ahead. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers. Yeah, don't don't turn into a damn heathen, because that's what that's what our people have turned into. They've turned into strangers or Gentiles. Another way of saying Gentiles, man. See, see, hey, we got we got to start bringing this out more. He said, "Hey, the Lord said it. Be read it again." This is uh, Baruch six and five. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise like be to strangers, neither be ye afraid of them. Mm -hmm. When ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them, right, and, and that's what you see. Everybody worships the image of the beast. Go ahead. But say ye in your hearts, O Lord, we mu we must worship thee. Right, I gotta worship Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay, I'm, I'm not supposed to be worshiping uh, all of this other shit, man. Go ahead. For mine angel is with you, and I myself caring for your souls. As for their tongue, it is polished by the worksmen, and they themselves are gilded and laid over with silver. Yet are they but false and cannot speak. Good, good. That's good. That's good. All right. You go back to Sirach, the second chapter. Yeah, uh, Sirach <clears throat> 2. I'm stopping the topic again. It says, My son. So come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Right, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Yeah, yeah meaning there's always gonna be, there's always gonna be something, man. There's always gonna be something you gotta battle. Go ahead. And make not haste in time of trouble. Right, make not haste in the time of trouble. Yeah, meaning when something comes upon you, don't just bounce out. Go ahead. Says, cleave unto him, cleave unto him, and depart not away, that, that thou mayest be increased at, at thy last end. We read that one more time. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Right, cleave unto him and depart not away. Right, so you have to continually cleave uh, unto the heavenly Father and His Son. Go ahead. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whoa, that's the point. No pain, no gain. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Verse 4 says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Right, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take patiently. Right, so you have to be you have to be patient. Scripture to say necessary, scripture about necessary patience and seeking the Lord. And it says, whoa, whoa, it's in that chapter. Won't we'll keep going, actually. Just keep going. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Right. Be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And we're all in a lower state. Go ahead. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Read that one more time. For gold is tried in the fire. For gold is tried in the fire. Go ahead. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right. So if you're acceptable, you're going to be tried in that furnace of adversity, meaning you're going to, you're going to catch that hell. Verse 6 says, uh, believe in him and he will help thee. Right, believe in him and he's going to help you. He's going to be He's going to be your refuge. Go ahead. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. God damn, order thy way of right and trust in him. Man. Go ahead. Verse 7, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Right, so you have to wait for the mercy, man. That's, what, that's all we're doing. We're waiting for the mercies of Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Go ahead. Verse 8, ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Yeah, your reward's never gonna never gonna fail if you continually believe. Go ahead. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Right, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good, meaning that's what you expect. Hey, um, can you give me uh Proverbs 11 and uh 23, I know. This is Proverbs 11 and 23. The desire of the righteous is only good. Right. The desire of the righteous is only good. That's why it says, need that hope in the Lord. Do what? For good. Read it again, or? Yeah, uh, Sirach. Sirach 2 and 9. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. Ye that fear the Heavenly Father, you hope for good. Yeah, you're going to expect good because you know that you fear the Heavenly Father. Not out here uh, being a hooligan, being an idolater, being an adulterer, so on and so forth. Go ahead. You that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And for everlasting joy and mercy. Okay. Yeah, that's the kingdom, man. That's everlasting joy and mercy. All right, go ahead, bro. 
Go, uh, I know. There's a proverb in 11 and 23. The desire of the righteous is only good. Yep. But the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Yeah, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Yeah, and yeah, if you're if you're doing wickedness, you expect to get judged. All right. Which we know, hey, we're we're doing righteous. We know we're gonna get chastised, but our 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 judgment is different. Okay, we get jacked up so that we actually uh, we don't get destroyed in the end. Okay. First uh, Corinthians eleven. Yeah. Yeah, hold that in there. First Corinthians 11, 32 <clears throat> says, But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Read that one more time. Huh? First Corinthians 11 and 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. That we that we should not be condemned with the world. That we should not be condemned with this world, man. So that's our that's 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 our judgment when we get chastised. So if you're getting chastised, that's why it says you're happy. You're, you're supposed to take it cheerfully. Hey, Barack Yah Bashimi on shot. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna turn out better than 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 what you thought it was, man. Hey, because but that comes with you believing that the Lord is with you. Okay, it's just more it's just more purification man, from this world. Because you look, we see what's in this world. Look at the comic board, man. <laughs> the Satan, these are straight just Satanists, man. It's not, Satanists upon Satanists coming coming on the page, man. All right, brother, you got something else? Let me see. I got a I wanted to uh let me see. I got a I wanted to uh wanted to go to uh Matthews 26 and 41. Yeah. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing. I mean, that's like it. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right now. Yeah, you just uh, watch, you know, pray. Uh, watch watch the uh, prophecies that's going on. They'll, like, empty you up, you know, keep you in the spirit. Uh, pray pray to the Most High. Uh, pray to you how about you, how shy that. You know that you endure through this this the temptation that you catch the hell that you catch you know and because uh, the, the spirit like you said the spirit is willing you know but the flesh is weak though so yeah flesh is weak you're you're in this body you want to do you know you gotta you want to do things in the flesh you want to eat drink you want to deal with women you know you want to exercise you get your body feeling better things like that but you have that's why there's a battle between the spirit and the flesh. You know, you have the spirit has to the spirit has to win out. Now you're gonna do things, you know, like eating and drinking. You're gonna deal with women, things that are fleshly, but that can't be your life. See, that's the difference between us and the world, because that's all the world cares about is satisfying their flesh. As the scriptures say, uh, men shall be uh, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the Most High. That's what that means when you say, all right, because if you then. If you're all in the flesh, you're like, all right, well, look, I want to be, I want to love the flesh even more. And then you'll do what? You'll start committing iniquity. That's what these people do. Oh, well, I'm a, uh, now I, I want to smoke meth now. All right, drinking, drinking wine ain't enough. Well, this feels, it don't feel good no more. Oh, I'm smoke weed. All right, well, uh, uh, just popping a one, one woman at a time ain't enough. I'm going to have three. I'm going to have them freaking off all at the same damn time, man. That'll lead to your, that'll lead to iniquity, man. Just, uh, Caring all about the things of the flesh. And you see that, man. That's all America's about. America's all about just uh loving your flesh. And what if it feels if it feel good, if it feels good, do it. Why not? It ain't hurting no I ain't hurting nobody but my body. That's what that nigga Matt Dre used to say. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> it, 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 meaning what? Hey, look, hey, I, I'm hurting myself, but it felt good at the time. Look what happened to him, man. And he got smoke. Yeah, that's, uh and the uh, scriptures also speak on balance, like a uh, false balance is an abomination to the most high. Yep. So yep. you gotta be like a good uh, balance with it too. Yep. Yeah. You have to you and you definitely definitely have to feed the spirit more than the flesh, you know. Exactly. I had a, a quick quick one. Right yeah, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise you're gonna be all about the flesh. Yep. That's it. We're supposed to be about this business, man. The heavenly Father's business. Yep. And it's manifest, and and you know by what the fruit. Yep. See. So you guys, guys who aren't doing videos, all right, they're not out on the highways and hedges. You know, you haven't seen them on a, on a video in like eight months. What are they doing? They're obviously not feeding the spirit, so that means they're doing what? They're feeding the flesh. See? Yeah. 
Yeah, because we're spiritual people, so you have to feed that spirit. You got to eat the bread of life. So go ahead, brother. Yeah, uh, Galatians 6, I'm going to start at 7. It says, be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. Yeah, the Most High is not mocked. Yeah, you can't mock the Most High, like you, you idiots on the comic yeah. board. Yeah. You can't really mock the Most High because really, you're all just going to die, whoever you are, whether you're a CIA, FBI agent. Really, yeah, really, you, you, look, you got all types of demons, man. Yeah. See, but yeah, the Most High is not mocked. Yeah, you think you you think you playing the most high? You think you you know you think you uh getting over on the most high? He's not mocked. Go ahead. It says be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah, that's right. You reap what you sow, man. Okay, and that's what's happening to America right now. America and you so called white people, you're reaping what you sow. What if you sowed corruption, the flesh, wickedness? Go ahead. Verse 8 For he that sowed to his flesh. Shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. See, yeah, and that's why the, the brother made the, the point. You got to feed the spirit, man. Go ahead. Verse nine says, "And let us not be weary in well doing." Right, which is what feeding the spirit, mm -hmm. doing his work. Go ahead. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Meaning, if you don't what, if you don't give up, come weak and dip out. Yeah, and dip out like like uh, some people we know. Right. And a lot more guys are gonna dip out because it's only gonna it's only getting harder. Okay, and spirits is uh the spirits is getting heavier. Hey, so you got hey, hey, hey it's old saying goes when the going gets tough, the tough get going, man. Yep. So that's how you gotta be. You know, you gotta get, get you gotta get harder. You gotta get more spiritual. Okay. You got something? We'll, we'll start wrapping up in a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. You got something? All right. Well, uh, get uh, get Hebrews the sixth chapter. Six and ten. Yeah. Hebrews six and ten says, "For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love." Yeah, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love. Go ahead. Which he has showed toward his name, and that he had ministered to the saints and do minister. Yeah, so you gotta know that the most high is not unrighteous. No pain, no gain. Even though you're going through this, you're still gonna get gained by what? Enduring into the end. Oh, do you have something up? No, that was the one I was looking for earlier. Oh, that's the spirit. There you go, that's the spirit. Uh, now, give me first Corinthians three and uh nine. I know. Yeah, he's not he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have ministered to the saints and do minister, meaning you have to continually minister. Okay. Hey, and the and the tribe of Dan isn't mentioned because they're not mentioned. Right. You know, that's it. That's the explanation. You know, they're just not in there. Now, um, we believe they were uh, they were mingled in amongst the tribes. They when you go into the into the history, they never really hammered down an inheritance. And so when you read the book of Revelation, the Lord just didn't um, have them slaves to be saved. It's going to say, uh, be not curious in unnecessary matters. All right. And without eyes, thou shalt want light. Therefore, uh, profess not the knowledge that thou hast not. So I don't have that knowledge. Nobody does because it's not written. All we can go according to is the scripts. Right. Okay. You got something? Yeah, a quick piece of mine. Uh, Sirach 3 and 21 says, uh, Seek, <laughs> seek out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Go ahead. But what is commanded thee, think they're upon with reverence. Right. What is commanded thee, think they're upon with reverence. What, what are we commanded? To go out and do the work. Okay. Go ahead. For it is not needful for thee to see with thy eyes the things that are in secret. Right. Read that again now. So it says, I'm going to start from the top of 22. It says, but what is commanded thee, think they're upon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Go ahead. Be not curious in, in unnecessary matters. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. Well, that's unnecessary matter to us. All right, what we're concerned about is doing what the Heavenly Father has told us to do. Right. Go ahead. For more things are shown unto thee than men understand. Go ahead. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Go ahead. And an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Right, go ahead. Without eyes thou shalt want light. Profess not the profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. Yeah, so we don't we don't have that knowledge. Hey, you get Sirach, the fifth chapter, Sirach five and twelve. Yeah, Sirach five and twelve says, uh, if thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. 
If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. And if not, just lay your hand upon your mouth. Lay your hand upon your mouth. I don't know. Okay, so we don't have the understanding of that. We just teach what we got, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then? Uh, I get the first one, you didn't three and nine. Yeah. You got something else up? Oh, no, I was Okay, go ahead. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 9. For we are laborers together with the Most High. Ye are the Most High's hub husbandry. Ye are the Most High's building. Go ahead. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another build it thereon. Go ahead. But let every man take heed how he build it thereupon. Go ahead. For other foundation can no man lay. I mean, so I For other foundation can no man lay. That that then that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai. Right. That's the only foundation. Hey, like you had uh, Alazar say, my my uh, really you know my foundation is truth. Right there, he, he's not right in the spirit. You know, because the only foundation is Yahweh Shai. Your, your old foundation, you're supposed to break that down and then build. Build a new, which goes into you being what? Born again. Right. All right. Go ahead. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. Go ahead. And the fire shall try every man's work. Yeah, and the fire is going to try, try every man's work. The fire talking about what? This affliction. Go ahead. She'll try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built it thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Go ahead. If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss. If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss. That's talking about you, you edifying a brother, building him up. All right, so he's burnt up. All right, if he falls out, he shall suffer loss. Go ahead. But he himself shall be, be saved. Right, but he himself shall be saved. Yeah, but you're going to be delivered. Go ahead. Yet so as by fire. Yeah, as so by as by fire. Yeah, meaning you're going you're gonna to still catch that hell, but you'll be delivered. Okay, you got something? Yeah, that, that was it, bro. All right, yeah, with that, we're going to wrap up. Hey, man, you, <laughs> you scoffers, you threw. The Lord is going to destroy every last one of y'all. I... I it was a damn, it was a damn blitz. Right. You know, a damn blitz. It usually don't be on like this, you know. Mm. Hey, it was something about to happen, you know, Lord's will. That's right. Uh -huh. hey, you know, that's, cause that's all that is. That's just a testimony of something about to happen in the spirit, you know. All right, so we're going to give a uh, call hello oh. to Yahweh. 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 Hashem. Yahweh Shah. Okay, double honors again to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone and honors to all you brothers. Hopefully it was edifying, uh, death to America, death to you scoffers and you scorners, and may the kingdom uh, come quick. All right, shalom. shalom. shalom.